Occasionally, the dome nut plates for the stubwing inboard heated leading edge assemblies on the 500, 550, S550, and the 550 Bravo are damaged due to excessive length screw installation or strip threads. A fuel leak will soon follow since the dome nut plate is now punctured or the fastening rivets have sheared. At this point, the nut plate or nut plates must be replaced regardless of the damage. However, the number three AD type driven rivet heads are covered during the original build process in the factory. This makes nut plate replacement somewhat more difficult. There are two options for nut plate replacement and both are acceptable as long as great care is taken. Option one involves removing the structure to physically gain access to the nut plate fasteners. This option is not recommended due to possibly inducing secondary damage or subsequent fuel leaks. Team Structures recommends option two, which is to x-ray the structure and then use the x-ray film as a template or mylar to drill down through the structure to drill out the shank of the rivets. This requires accuracy in the location of the x-ray film and the angle of drilling so as not to double drill the faster holes. It is recommended to use a nut plate jig tool in conjunction with the x-ray. This method, if done correctly, will save a lot of disassembly time but must be performed accurately to avoid causing double drilled hole damage. The rivets for the replacement nut plates can then be installed all the way through the material stack up during reinstallation. Only the original MS20 426AD3 driven type fasteners are to be installed. Blind fasteners are not recommended for this installation. The dome nut plate is a NAS 147-3A3 type. These instructions can be sent out to customers via email or a repair recommendation memo from Team Structures if required. For any structural questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at txtav.com. Thank you.